Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Knights of the Fallen Empire Episode 6. Last time we found the Gravestone, which is an ancient ship about a thousand, well, more than a thousand years old, which was used during, I can't remember what war he said, but like a great war, thousands of years ago, nobody knows exactly what happened. Uh, and it was one of the ones that, he's, that survived, I believe he said. I was pretty much capable of destroying a lot in that war. At least I believe that's what details were. But anyway, uh, and now we need to go and find some... Well, we, we're given a choice to either go find supplies first or go and help find some materials to help try and get this ship up and running again. Though I have no idea how we're going to get this... <laughs> how we're going to get this off the planet, if that's what he's trying to imply. But anyway, uh, we've also got something over here, whatever the hell this is. Is it a side quest? I believe it might be. Uh, broken speeder. Speed assistance diagnostic, diagnostic report. Uh, da 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 da. Power core status unknown. But I get a speeder. Ooh, I get a speeder if I do it. Hell yeah, we're doing that. Where's all the stuff anyway? Oh, it's on the way out as well. Oh, uh, that's great because I was wondering what we're we gonna do on the way out. Oh, by the way, it's giving me something to do. So the first piece should be here. Thank you. I shall collect that unless it's gonna attack me. Nope, that's fine. Second piece is over here. Thank you. Although I don't know how these three small pieces will make a massive speeder. But hey, well, four pieces if you're counting the one which we saw back there. But hey, apparently it'll make a speeder. <laughs> speeder, please. Thank you very much. Oh, attach the parts to the frame. Where do I need to go? Oh, I need to go up there. Oh, wait, there's like an area to attach it? Okay, fair enough. Unless that's like another part which we need to get and attach it to. Unless this is oh, and this is where the frame's gonna be, isn't it? Uh, should probably read before I think, Charlie. Uh, the frame is ah ha ha ha. So it's just a few missing parts, and that was it. Alrighty, repairing. Thank you. I will take the brand new speeder. More to add my my speeder collection. Oh my! Let's take a look at what it looks like anyway. Just one of the classic speeders which we've seen them before, just in a different color. Alrighty, well that's going in my random mount collection. Thank you very much. Our uh, first sign for water is over here. Uh, we need to collect that. Oh, it exploded on us. Tiring work, isn't it? Oof. When Darth Maul and I faced Valkorion, we knew right away. He was the Sith Emperor, Lana. I know. When he was struck down, it released ripples through the Force. Everyone who had felt the Sith Emperor's presence in the past, on Zyast, on Yavin 4, we all sensed what had happened. Arkan invaded soon after, claiming that an outlander had assassinated his father, the immortal Emperor. It didn't take long for us to unravel the truth. Which side did Arkan attack first? Both. Ships from the Eternal Fleet struck at shipyards and rallying points for both sides simultaneously. They favored ambush tactics throughout the war. Zakulan sensor technology has far greater range than our own, and their ships can fly much further on less resources. Only vessels retrofitted with Isotope 5 could manage to outrun them. None could truly compete. Hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. It was quite cool to kill Valkorion, although I dread to think what I've actually done by doing so, although I didn't really have a choice. Although I, often, I sort of wonder what would have happened if I went the other way, if I had sided with him. I assume I wouldn't have actually struck him down, but I assume he probably would have died anyway, no doubt. Um, obviously don't tell me, but I'll find out one day when I, when I do it with another character. The difference probably isn't massive, but it's probably good enough, I'd say. It is, isn't it? Although this guy could be helping me. Never stood a chance. Thank you. How long did the Republic and the Empire manage to hold out? Within three months, the bulk of our naval forces were disabled or eliminated, and the Republic was in the same situation. With naval superiority, Arkan's forces could begin choking off supply lines, trade, any ship travel at all. The Eternal Fleet seemed to be everywhere at once. 
Coruscant and Drummond Cast were blockaded by the end of the first year. Hmm. What happened next? I must know, but I guess I'll find out when I go to the next water thingy. Water thingy. Well done, Charlie. You know what they're called. Totally. Uh, over here. How did it end? The members of the Dark Council fought Arkhan's invasion ruthlessly and lost. The Empire's treaty was ultimately negotiated by the Minister of Logistics. Chancellor Suresh also refused to discuss surrender, but the Republic Senate managed to overrule her. A cadre of senators negotiated their own ceasefire terms. All of those senators have since been disgraced or dismissed. I'm sure you can imagine the likely culprit. So far, the treaties with Zakul have held. But that will not last forever. Don't you love it when people attacking in the background ruins your experience? Oh well, you can fight them for me, that's fine. Uh, right, where do we need to go now? We need to search an alternate site. Alternate? Alternate? Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Uh, search an alternate site for groundwater. We could go... Either way, really. Oh, there's only one way. Okay. It was pointing me. It was pointing me that that way. Oh, there we go. Thanks. Pointing me that way, but apparently it's that way, which kind of makes no sense. But still, come on, avoid everyone. I've avoided every enemy so far. And I don't want to attack anyone now. Although I was looking for a challenge. There we go. Never swamp ranker. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Because you're gorgeous. Uh, search on alternate site for groundwater again. Uh, back over there. What did I just pick up? I picked up something I can't use. Alrighty. Wait. Do I, do I need to get up there? Oh. Oh, there's a stairway going up to it. That's nice. That's not stairway. It's a ramp. You know what I meant? It looked like stairs from these rocks. Ah, there we go. Clean water. A freshwater spring. It should be safe for drinking. So the Eternal Fleet overwhelmed both the Republic and the Empire. What was the result? Both sides are forced to pay a heavy tribute to Zakul, mainly raw materials and resources. They're also held under an arms limitation statute. The Empire and the Republic are both breaking it, of course, but they're still incapable of challenging the throne directly. Who rules the Empire now? Darth Asina was the only Dark Council member left standing. All others died or disappeared in the chaos. Without opposition, she declared herself Empress of the Sith. And the Republic? Suresh remains in power, though she no longer holds the title of Chancellor. The Republic has limits to their ruler's terms but her replacement is a mere puppet. Both sides see this only as an opportunity to eliminate one another at a time of weakness, instead of combining what strength they have. What do you expect? Arkan does nothing to prevent violence between them, so long as their tribute is paid and no one challenges Zakul's superiority. I'm surprised Arkan didn't try to destroy both governments. He obviously had the firepower. I don't think Arkan feels any desire to actually govern our portion of the galaxy. For now, he sees it as a backwater, useful only for resources. Powerful Zakulan battle stations have been placed in orbit around key worlds to watch for possible uprisings. But there are no ongoing planetary occupations. The ships of the Eternal Fleet simply patrol at random, while the tribute paid to Zakul gradually chokes all economic potential. What about my team? My ship? I have allies looking for them as we speak. With all of the chaos of the last few years, though, it will take time to find them all. For now, we make do with ourselves, Koth, and HK. Uh... How did you end up working together with Koth? I knew I'd never find you alone. Recruiting assets with first-hand knowledge of Zakul was my top priority for years. Koth was on the run, pursued by the deadliest of the Zakul Knights. I... resolved the situation. And we've worked together ever since. He's been an invaluable ally. Koth is a cool native, a veteran officer of their military. 
one of the few who hadn't been replaced by a droid. He and his crew were part of the occupation of the planet Denon. When ordered to do things they weren't comfortable with, Koth took his ship and crew and went rogue. What exactly were they ordered to do? That's for Koth to say. But I trust him with my life. As I trust you. I'm confident that you'll learn to trust one another just as well. So why me? You clearly went to a lot of trouble to get me out of Carbonite. Before you were captured, you accomplished things no one else dared to attempt. You changed the galaxy more than once. And if things have ever needed to change, now is the time. But... There is something else. Uh, I've felt it since the moment I found you in Carbonite. There's a power in you. Something new. It's elusive, but I know it's there. I think you're right, Lana. I think the Emperor Valkorion is in my mind. What? After he died, there was a storm of energy. I barely even remember being thrown into the carbon freezing chamber. But you were not down. While I was frozen, I saw things, dreamed about him, about everything that happened while I was gone. It can't be. If he were controlling you, I'd know it. I certainly saw enough of it on Zyost. He's not controlling me, he's just in my mind, probably watching everything that's happening. I don't think he's trying to control me. Well, not directly, anyway. He was trying to convince me to work with him. Whatever he's doing, we can be sure that he's always trying to deceive us somehow. I believe in you. And I appreciate your honesty. I'll remain watchful for any influence he might have over you. For the time being, though, we have no choice but to proceed. What about the others? They wouldn't understand. And like you said, we really don't know anything for sure yet. Let's keep the matter between us for now. Wonder how Koth would react. Uh oh. Salutation. Oh. It is a pleasure to see you again so soon, Masters. I have encountered minimal resistance in my patrol. How minimal? Reassurance. Only one Sky Trooper and three local predators with poor survival instincts. Our position appears to be secure at this time, but I would still advise caution on your return trip, Masters. If you've already spotted enemy scouts, more are bound to be coming. Keep patrolling. Reassurance. I will annihilate any potential threat that approaches the gravestone. Although I just realized what I might have done there. Because he's going to be trying to kill anybody that's outside the gravestone. They're going to be sending more to that position because they're going to be realizing, well, they're dying in that particular spot. What's there? Then they're going to overwhelm us now. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, lovely. You'll just take me right back. Oh, thank you, game. I really appreciate that. I really do. But I fear what I may have just done. It m that might not be the case. That might not be the case. That might be too, I'll say, simplistic for the game to go with, really. But who knows? We'll find out soon enough. But let's go speak to Koth again. Hello again, Koth. Hey there. Did you find something tasty? Water. We definitely found something. Great. I've got a pretty good idea of the parts we'll need. Let's go see what we can find. Ah, it's your turn now. Alrighty, right, so where are we going? If the black screen would disappear. Thank you. Uh, we are going... Further away. Alright, that's fair enough. Is the game going to give me another quest to do? Yes? No? Maybe? Well, there's a speeder here. Why is there a speeder here? Oh, please tell me you're getting me out of this place. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Bioware. Thank you. Really thank you. I didn't want to have to travel all the way there. Oh. Wow. By the way, you've really made things easier for me. Uh, one part. Thank you very much. Oh, you're not going to talk to me each time then. That's fair enough. Oh. It's pretty much just told me to go back to the exact same spot. Alright, I'll take that. Will this one have respawned? Yep, it's respawned. Alright, I guess they've made it quick, quicker for things to reappear. That's fine. Investigate detected debris readings. Where's that located? All the way over there. Damn it, game. Just when you were doing good. Just when you were doing good, you decided to make me travel all the way over there. 
Uh, can, oh, I was gonna say, why isn't letting me in? Because I was being attacked by people. Oh, can I? Oh, nope. All right, gotta attack you. And can I get off my mouth? Oh, we've got some new gloves. Uh, but it's pretty much the exact same ones I've had before. Actually, no. What's this one? Oh, this is more powerful. Th oh. No, these are the ones I just picked up. Oh, I'll certainly take that. Actually, before I equip them, let's see how much of a difference it makes. Wow. One bit of damage. Whoa. Oh, there's some Sky Troopers. Oh, dear. Uh, let's see if we can avoid being... It. Nope. Just one wing more attacking me. All right. Sneaky, sneaky. Don't mind me. Thank you very much. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. Well done, Granatoko, but I'm going to have to attack you. Never mind. I think the fact that Bioware said that they've really put the emphasis on story has made me a bit more worried about my choices because it's made me think when I was saying about the HK thing that I made him continue patrolling well I'm kind of worried that things like that will happen now and every time and before I make a choice I will literally be thinking oh well what will that do and I'm thinking of the worst case scenario and I think the thing with HK was the worst case scenario probably won't happen nothing will probably happen but I guess we'll find out uh, defeat the Ichneid. I think I said it this time. Collect the fuel cell. Ooh, some boots. What's these boots? What? Why did, how did you get there? Oh no, of course you. I swapped you around, didn't I? <laughs> Duh. Uh, uh, let's see what that does. It increases my power even more, so that's fine. Awesome. Uh, right, where's the thing I need? It's here. It's destiny. I ditch all these parts before we crash. We find the gravestone, and then what do we need to get it flying? Honestly, it's plain as day. Not for Maybe Mana, though. For her, it's all just skill and luck and coincidence. Maybe it's the Emperor doing this. Hmm. Relying on fate to get you out of trouble will always leave you disappointed. Better to rely on yourself. I can't believe you two. Just wait and see. I know I'm right on this. Lana's told me about all the things you've done. More than once. Half the reason I agreed to this crazy rescue was to see if you were actually real. So Hi, I'm I figure real. I know all about your past. You deserve to know mine. Lana might have told you I was the captain of a warship during Arkin's campaign against the Core Worlds. My crew and I deserted, but I'm not going to pretend we didn't do our share of damage beforehand. Just thought you should hear it from me. Lana mentioned that you deserted instead of following orders. What was the order? We were holding territory on Denon. Locals rioted and orders were to open fire until they stopped. None of us even wanted to be there. Massacring civilians? That's not how Sakul is supposed to operate. I guess that's how Arkan operates. Which is why he has to go. One more thing, as long as we're being honest. I know things were hairy back there, but a lot of innocent people died. A lot. That's not what I signed up for. I'm in this to save Zakul from Arkan, not to tear it down with him. I need to know that you're on board with that, too. I'm in this to win, no matter what the cost. And sooner or later, we're going to have a problem. Come on, let's get this stuff back to the gravestone. Just don't get in my way when I make decisions. Request. Please rendezvous at my current coordinates at your earliest convenience, Masters. I require assistance. Plastic droid. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. But we'll find out what happens next time. Hmm. Maybe HK's found some people that he's decided to capture rather than kill. I guess we'll find out next time. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you in the next episode. And a farewell to you.